Hello and welcome to IBM TV. Today I'm joined in the TV studio by Toma Tolleman, Director Pro Group Europe at Sure. Toma, welcome to IBM TV. Thank you very much. So let's talk digital wireless. So UHF spectrum across the world continues to shrink, but at the same time usage of channels in production continues to increase. So what sort of challenges does this produce? I'd, I'd probably say this is one of the the more unknown things that you know that's facing the industry and it's of, of massive concern. You know, you and I are hit, sitting here today. We both have wireless microphones on us. But if you look at larger productions, uh, you know, across the broadcast industry, wireless devices are always concealed on the body, and yet it's you know it's used to make content, which we view on the TV every night. And and the reason wireless microphones are critical is it's the first piece of equipment in the signal chain. Yeah. So if we comp compromise the signal of the wireless microphone when you're you know, either making a feature film or broadcasting you know, on site, location, whatever it is. If we compromise that signal, obviously everything downstream is you yeah. know, disrupted. The reason it's become an issue is wireless microphones use what we refer to as UHF spectrum. But over the last handful of years or decade um, or so, we've seen in every continent and every country UHF spectrum being allocated to the mobile sector. So you've probably heard of this you know, going from analog to digital terrestrial yeah. transmitting. But what's happening during that phase is that the spectrum that we've utilized previously is being allocated to the mobile sector. So if you look at this over a span of you know, the last 10 or so years, we arguably had a fair amount of spectrum going back a decade or so ago. And throughout that time, the usage of wireless microphones and content production has only continued to increase. Yeah. And arguably, we require that spectrum to continue producing this um, content, world-class content. But the means for doing so are being continuously reduced. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I think it's fairly uh, you know, an unknown subject in the sense that it really is a science and an art for those technicians that work on the shows. You can seal the microphones as well as you know, the, the transmitters into the costumes or into wigs if you're in yeah. theatre. So it really is an unknown subject for mo most people. Okay, and so Sure has spent a lot of time talking to customers about what a high-tier digital product should be. Yeah. And how important, you mentioned customers a minute ago, but how important is it to talk you can talk to your customers and understand what they need and want. Oh, I think it's absolutely vital. You know, for us to make products that the customers want and are desirable, they have to be products that address some of these issues which yeah. we just talked about, but also offer features uh, that you know w work together in the workflow. So, as these issues of spectrum um, erosion started to appear around the world, we made a, a pretty conscientious effort of going to talk to our customers, understand what their workflow is now, what the future holds for them, and, and what some of the issues are that they face. Right Right now, and I don't think it's any coincidence, you know, that the products that we're putting out now are bleeding edge, cutting edge, and yeah. you know, hugely desirable. And um, the key to that is understanding what the customers want, and you know, it's, so it's collaborating. A, with it, them yeah, well. it's a great place to be. We can talk yeah. to the end users, and probably the most rewarding of it is, you know, you take like a ten-year development cycle. These products are now out in the marketplace, and you know, even here at IBC, being at the stand, hearing customers say, you know, it's great because this product does yeah. X, Y, and Z, and it it kind of vindicates, it, it yeah, validates, validates all that time, stuff yeah. that we've done over the last you know, decade. So yeah. that it, that's probably one of the most rewarding aspects of all of that. And so an example of some of this collaboration you've done with customers is Axiom Digital. Yes. Can you tell us about this, how it came about, what it does, and how it helps customers? Well, so Axiom Digital is our high-tier wireless system. You see it in use from you know, any high-tier broadcast application. You know, I mentioned a few of them from you know, feature filmmaking to made-for-TV shows, obviously just ENG as well, um, as well as studio-based news. So so Axiom Digital, without taking too much of your time, I'd probably say one of the highlights there really is the, uh, the small transmitter we've made. So especially in the digital realm, the, tr the transmitters tend to be larger because you need a large battery on the back of it to power it. So we've designed a small transmitter that has rounded edges and has no external antenna. So right. even whenever we put, and you're, you know, you're familiar with wearing radio transmitters, you're, the antenna is always an additional yep. thing that gets in the way. You're trying to like hide it. Where do you put yeah. it? It can break. You know. It's a point of entry for a sweat, so it really is leading edge in the sense that it's the world's first small transmitter that doesn't have uh, an external antenna. Yeah. And the response for that has been just immense from broadcasters around the world. And so how have the advances in technology 
helped your customers when it comes to putting on you know, big productions or big yeah. events or anything? How has that technological change helped them? Well, we'll probably look there in terms of if we start talking about channel count. So, you know, a large TV production, take something like, you know, your X Factor or The Voice mm -hmm. or something, you're commonly running near 100 channels of wireless. Yeah. And this goes back to the whole thing I said, most people don't even recognize how, you know, how many channels you run on these. So if you put this together with, I mentioned about spectrum diminishing, historically, we'd be able to run these analog systems in the, the amount of spectrum we had. But with this spectrum disappearing right now, that cap, you know, capacity is just it's simply not possible. Mm -hmm. Whereas the new digital systems, because of the changes in the modulation scheme, and they're simply more efficient and predictable in terms of their characteristics when they're on air, we're able to stack channels closer to one another and still meet these demands that these productions have. Yeah. And, you know, and this is why this issue is such a big thing, because if, if we don't keep up to date with the technology, you, you, know, you seriously risk um, production quality mm -hmm. being reduced because you simply don't have the capacity to put those channels on air. And the other aspect that drives it is creativity, of course, right. as well. You know, the fact that you can have talent on stage without cabled microphones. Anything. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. And, you know, producers and directors use that to their advantage. So it, in, in that sense, being able to, you know, run high number of channels on air despite this diminishing UHF spectrum has mm -hmm. been a, a big game changer. Okay, excellent. Well, Tomo, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. My pleasure. You can find out more more about Axiant Digital and all the rest of Sure's products at sure.com.